Here we'll be doing some examples on power and root of numbers greater than one under common logarithms. Um, typically, let's start with power. Examples. Use the logarithm table to evaluate 3.55 raised to power 4. Now, solution to this. Solution to this. I told you that the first thing you do is just that take the number and look for and change it to the stand and uh, to standard form. Now this is 3.55. The standard form of this will be still be 3.55 times 10 raised to power what is zero. As you know that 10 raised to power zero is one. Now after that you you can draw your table 3.55. Now. The first integer before the point is you pick the integer of the standard form. This is integer, and that will be what a zero point. Then let's go to our logarithm table to check for uh, the log of 35 under 5. Logarithm table check for 35 under 5. What will that value be? From the logarithm table, you have 35 under 5 to be 5502. Then you come to the board, you write it 5502. Now let's come to our logarithm table. Since there is no value, any other value, any other value here, which we make the numbers for, then there's no or uh, we are not going to be looking for difference of anything because there's no value at the back of five it's just three digits now you just put that down we have 0.5502 now from here uh our initial from our initial question we have 3.55 raised to power four now for powers you come here 3.55 raised to power four for you to get the value, this value on itself using logarithm table, after finding your log, you multiply the power by your logarithm value. And uh, and what would that give us? Multiply it. 4 times 2, that's 8. 4 times is 0, is 0. 4 times 5, 20. You write your 0. You put your 2 up. 4 times 5 again, 20 plus 2, that's 22. You put your 2, then you carry your 2 here, then you have 2. 0.2008 now this is value notice something your power after looking for your log reading finding the value of your uh finding the value of uh, uh, uh of the log uh, uh finding the log number now you multiply it by four the power to get the actual value now after getting that we already have our value to be 2.200 then you go to the table look for the anti-log anti-log it's log reading of 2.2008 now here what are we going to be using i told us we'll be using for anti-log you use the fractional part the fractional part only the fractional part only and that is uh, 20 under 0 20 under 0 in difference of it now let's look for the value first uh let's go to our antilog table now on our antilog table 20 under 0 is 15 8 15 8 now your <clears throat> now in difference of 8 let's look for the difference of 8 what number do we have thus we have 3 this is it which means we have 15 8 as the logarithm value difference of and uh, difference of eight is what is three now let's write it on the board that's um that's we have 15 8 difference of what eight is equal to three now you add the value together five plus three is eight 8 plus 0 is 5 and 1. Now, for antilog, your point will always be in front of the first digit, 8, 8. Then, 
what will be our final answer for this you bring your antilog you bring your antilog that will be 1.588 times 10 raised to power the what the integer that you left behind that two two then our final answer will be 1.88 times 100 which will finally give us what 158.8 now the value of this of this uh, question will be what will be is equal to 158.8 that's on that